You have been an innovator in the fashion industry, but some have also called you an outsider and even described you as having a maverick streak. Why do people say that? You know, it's interesting. My sixth grade teacher wrote in my little kind of signature book, um, graduation book, and she wrote, know thyself. That really is kind of my motto, where if I believe strongly in something, I shouldn't be swayed by a trend or something else that somebody else does that I should do the best me possible. I don't really think of myself as a maverick. I mean, you never really see yourself the way other people do anyway. To know yourself and to be confident in that, that aspect of who you are is often easier said than done. How did you learn to, to have such confidence in your vision and mm. the path you wanted to pursue? Well, when I was 18, I was so smart. I mean, I was the smartest person on the planet. Uh, as I got older, I realized I'm not so smart, but because for some reason I had that conviction that what I wanted to do was really important, what it did do is it forced me to be an entrepreneur. And remember, I started in 1967, and this was pre-women's kind of immersion into the, the real world of men. And so in the 70s, in the early 70s, I learned that if I really want to do all of these things and I want to be creative and I want to have a life that's about creativity, I need to figure out a way to do it. I need to figure out a way to fund it. I need to figure out a way to have a business and do it. Before that, I had a business with my ex-husband, and I thought men, you know, they're so much smarter than we are, and they can do all of these things, so how could I do it without him? Then I realized I had no choice. I had to do it without him. I've made every mistake you can make. I mean, God bless them because you need them. You, you hear everybody say that. Without the mistakes, how do you know how to do it right? You do it wrong, you learned how to do that. You've embarked on this incredible campaign to empower women, to instill self-confidence, bring this community of women together, but also fight these issues of objectification. Mm -hmm. What inspired you to champion this initiative? Well, clothes can empower women. If you're wearing something that makes you feel really good, you, you really perform in a better way. So that was my job. And then I thought, that's not enough. And around 9-11, I started to think not only about the stress that we would all be under, but also how fitness, health, and beauty were so key to self-esteem. So when you take off that dress, What's happening? Are you in the you know, body armor underneath and is that holding you in? And that little secret in your head was like, if I take off my dress, then what? And there's that little chip, that little chip that sits in all our heads that makes us feel not good enough. Is it realistic to think in the world of fashion where clothes can empower women right. and give them confidence, to change a culture where we see unhealthy anorexic models or, yeah. or, or um, unrealistic expectations of, of, of beauty. How do, you, right. how do you reconcile the two? It's up to women to really be the force that tells the fashion industry, you know what? I don't want to be that thin. I don't want to look like a 12-year-old because I'm not. I, I'm, I'm happy with this. I want to be the best me. And these are, th this is my protocol. This is what I want. And is that I, something you're doing right now? I, I am giving people a choice. I made a decision here. This is a, this is a shift for me. Prior to this, I would make clothes that small women certain size could wear that had certain money available to them. And then I had a whole bunch of women that I've sold to through the years poke me when I see them and say, 
What happened to you? I used to wear your clothes and now I can't afford them. What happened? I used to wear your clothes and I don't fit them in them anymore and I think she's absolutely right. Why am I not doing that? So Kamali culture is my version of saying, you know what? Sizes are zero to 18. It's under 100. So there are um, two strikes here on the right direction and fit and quality don't cost anything. So I'm throwing that into, we have fittings as if it's the designer collection. I am tougher about quality than I am about anything for this line because anything that looks slightly off will make it a cheap line, so I can't afford that. I'm really working on that next phase of providing as much information as possible. I learned that you can make beautiful clothes at a great price hence Kamali culture. So all of these things help you define who you can be, who you are, and who you're not. It may not be the trend of the fashion industry at this time, but it's the right thing to do.